It's some 10 years ago now since I first came across health research. I was with my dad. He was in the last days of his life. He had had his lung cancer and uh, I was up there with him and was having a break from care and was in a library and there was an advert from a national newspaper saying, have you had any experience of cancer? And I've in my family had quite a lot of experience of cancer. And eventually I kind of pecked up to myself and I thought, well, why don't you respond to that advert? And before I knew it, I was being invited into this wonderful world of health research. Fast forward 10 years later, and I was asked to attend a meeting in London uh, where there were going to be a conversation between the uh, various organizations involved with health research in the UK. That was the National Institute of Health Research, uh, where I was being invited from, and also the Health Research Authority, various other regulatory agencies, and also, most importantly, the Care Quality Commission. And that discussion was to ask the question if everybody around the table, all those organisations, was content that now was the opportunity to actually ask the NHS what it was doing at a local level in its hospitals to support health research in order to improve patient outcomes. What happens in hospitals when research is also going on? What difference does it make to the health opportunities for people who are coming there, like my children, like my family, when you go to your local hospital, how can you be sure that the best health care is being provided? And the answer to that, in part, as well as that health care being led by research. And if it is being led by research, which it is, is that research happening in your hospital? And what was really quite extraordinary about that meeting as well was the way in which the patients had been involved from the very beginning. Each organisation had been asked to ensure that their voice was to be expressed by having a patient, a carer, a member of the public with experience of health in their own families to come along and add their weight to the request to the CQC to actually begin to ask hospitals what is going on in relation to health research at your hospital. We have this word co-production, which becomes a bit of a buzzword, it's a word which is easily used. The co-production really is where you have the experience that I had in the board when eventually uh, the organisations agreed that we should move towards creating an inspection regime for healthcare uh, research in the NHS. And over the next few months, in fact it became a year in the end, I travelled around the UK attending various hospitals to do with research, uh, attending conferences to do with research and being asked as a patient carer to actually explain why it was that this organisation, the NIHR, was asking the CQC, in effect, to inspect the NHS to another extent. And it's been a terrific experience. And what it has done is that it illustrates just how research, when it's done properly, is a collaborative relationship. So now we have an emphasis from every organisation that the world that is research does really improve healthcare. And the lessons to be learned going forward from CQC inspection is how is this research being done? The question that has to be answered is, is being done collaboratively? Because that was my experience in the board.